Okay guys, so I'm on Pilgrim Road and I was going about 35 miles an hour and it just, the motor just quit and I got over to the side of the road and now it's just uh, giving me cranking. So I'm letting it sit for a second. It just crank, 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 won't start. There it is. Just nothing. Shut it off, open the door. This is not good. It's not uh, not safe either, because it, I mean, it was running totally fine, no problem, and then dice. And it's done this about three or four times since I left the dealership. The dealership yesterday after they replaced the tip them and the uh, powertrain module and uh, some other stuff but uh, uh, still fixed it's a different issue I mean it might be still related to that tip them but I'm not sure and see if I can get it to run because I don't know what's going on here and I don't know whether to just take it right to the dealership again or what but if it doesn't do anything I might be uh, getting another tow so I don't know. Try it again. This is, hasn't hasn't uh, done it this many times where usually it'll fire back up, but uh, I'm not sure what to do here. I'm supposed to be at work really shortly, so. Wish me luck and uh, wish the dealer luck who uh, try to diagnose what's going on because this is not cool. And no fault to them, it's just this weird random. I mean, it's, if it doesn't happen all the time, it's hard to diagnose. So. All right, I'm going to keep trying. We'll talk to you later. Good morning guys, it's Scott with MSM Adventures and I just wanted to uh, give you a little van update. Um, I am leaning against my van, I got it back, um, finally, and it is doing well. And uh, just to recap, I had a no crank, no start issue, um, where it was kind of intermittent, and, now, and then it just went to where it completely died, had it towed out of the garage. Um, they had it for um, about a week at the dealership. Um, I had it at Schlossman's uh, Dodge City in uh, Brookfield, Wisconsin, and I just wanted to shout out to them. I think they did a great job. It was a kind of a hard uh, couple of issues that they that they've eventually figured out. Um, the TIPM, which is the TIPM totally integrated power module, um, which so many people have had problems with. Um, I wish Chrysler would have recalled them. Um, that was bad and uh, it's a very expensive part to have installed. Um, I know it's been kind of a controversial issue with Chrysler. <clears throat> Sorry, switch the camera a little bit. And uh, they should have recalled it. I guess there's been some class action lawsuits um, where they paid out, but they didn't actually issue a recall. But the tip was bad. Um, that was burnout, out. And that was over $1,000 to have fixed. And they also fixed a leaky um, transmission line, um, which wasn't part of that issue, but that was just while it was in the shop. And a power train module was also bad, but I guess that was covered under a some sort of hidden recall or something like that. Uh, so I got the van back and drove it around for a couple of days. <clears throat> and it was dying on me so it almost got worse 
but don't worry, it gets better. <laughs> but, uh, so it's been kind of frustrating, but, uh, yeah, so it died on me while I was driving several times, restarted. At one point, it died on me, would not restart. So I called AAA again from the side of the road. They towed it back. Um, Schlossman's was great. They gave me a loaner car. They had it for another week, but they figured out that there was a, um, <clears throat> the, like, wearing harness module that goes into the powertrain sensor or powertrain module um they were able to tap on it um because in this case it was doing a crank no start now it's, you know when i first took it in no crank no start nothing then got it back and it would die but it would crank so it, it acted like it wasn't getting any fuel so i thought maybe it was a fuel issue um but i figured since it just had work it was kind of odd that it had never done that before but now it did um but there was a, um, they were able to tap on, I guess, the wiring harness going into the powertrain module and get the problem to recreate. So um, I feel like I'm having, I had both problems that a lot of people are having. So that's why I wanted to get this video out to you. Um, hopefully this helps people because they were able to tap on that module and get the thing to die and, not, and just crank. Um, so they replaced that also. Unfortunately, that cost me like another $400, but, uh, so all in all, um, I did spend, you know, and going to the dealer, you know, you're going to pay top dollar. I don't even fault them for that because I just knew that you're going to pay top dollar, but, uh, so we're in at about $2,000, um, but the van does seem to be doing really well. Um, there's, uh, you know, it's, it's been running now for, I've had it back for a week. I wanted to wait and make sure that it was actually good before I put this video out, um, but it is doing good, but I hope this helps people, um, you know, but I'll, uh, I'll, uh, you know, kind of just run down, but yeah, so new, new tip them, totally integrated power module, new powertrain module and wiring harness, um, to the powertrain module. Um, and that kind of fixed both problems that have been seeing so many, doing a bunch of YouTube research and uh, just internet research and it's like there's thousands of people who are having this problem so I don't know why Chrysler really didn't just take care of it but uh, pretty frustrating but I'm glad to have it back and uh, as you can see it my baby's back in the garage I mean I love this van I want to be able to keep it for a long time but uh, you know it's kind of made me not be able to trust it very well but uh, so hopefully hopefully it's fixed now and uh, you know, just wanted to get this video out to you for the update, um, and we'll uh, paste this with other ones. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're having a great day, and I really hope this helps people, because, I mean, this has been a kind of a frustrating process for me, um, and I know it's so frustrating for other people, especially, you know, these vans, they're hauling kids around, they're, you know, obviously, it's the, uh, coined as a soccer, soccer mom uh, vehicle, but I love my van. Um, it's a great vehicle, great utility, but, uh, you know, now I think I can trust it again. But I know uh, it's so frustrating for, for moms and dads that are trying to drive their kids around and things just dying in the middle of the road. That's no bueno, no good at all. Um, can't, can't have that when we have our family on board. So, all right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And, uh, again, hope this helps. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And peace out.